Hey what is going on guys and welcome to a new main progress video so we're going to start this one off by doing a rack sword just like I think we did in the last one so let's loot the first corpse this is by the way on the bottom path which is actually the last leg piece I need so let's see if we can get it on the first kill we oh my god are you serious fragment 2 that is like the same rarity let's just pet chance that I really don't give too much shits about that and we get 28 that was so close yeah whatever let's uh, let's do another kill Alright, there we go, kill number two, let's see what this one gives us, and it at least is better than a Triskelion key, but it's still absolutely awful, so let's just pen chance that as well, I think, you know, I'd rather take a pen chance than having 600 U logs, let's be real, so let's roll that for 154, alright. Alright, let's see what the third loot is going to be for the Raxor trip, and we get some herbs, you know what, actually that's a lot of Sarah Domi Bruce, I'm going to keep that, that's pretty neat. So this is going to be the last and the fourth kill of Araxor just for now. I'm going to do some other stuff and then I'll probably get back to Araxor at the end. But anyways, let's search the body and see what we get. Come on, man! This is not real life. Come come on, that would have been like the part four, three now, sorry. That would have been the, the elite clue scroll if I would have just kept the other one. But hey, when when we're at this stage, I guess I'll just reroll it now. So let's do that. 406. God damn, that's like the worst I could have got. So I'm doing a Corporal Beast Reaper assignment and I just got some Onyx Bolts E and that is actually the second time I get them but I didn't record the first time but this is really a good trip and so far I've got like 80 blue charms I guess and I just wanted to say like the setup that I used is a blood necklace as well as a Vampire's Mara and a Scrimshaw and I think if I ha would have superior Tetsu that would be even better because I've heard some people say that that is slightly more uh, efficient than using Malevolent because you take so low amounts of damage and if you have all of these healing items you can actually stay here for a very long time but anyways I have two kills left to do so let's do those. Sweet, the Reaper assignment is done for 15 Reaper points and 12k Slayer experience. I think I'll do another one. I just got a Reaper assignment of 6 Araxi and I really don't want to do Araxi right now when it's enraged. So I'm just going to keep it for the end of the episode and then I'll try to do all of the 6. Alright, so I just want to let you guys know that I do have two of the Legion pets. That is the Primus one and the Quintus one. And I'm so happy I have the Quintus one. But if you look at my bank, I have four of the Secundus Signets and one of the Sextus one and one of the Turgus one. The reason why I have four of the Secundus one and the reason why I'm still doing the Secundus one is because I don't have the pet for that. And the pets is the only thing that I really care about when it comes to Legions. And I do have a lot of kill count as well. I'm going to go in here and just quickly show you guys. I do have 2,811 kill count. So the drop rate of the Pets is actually not that bad, um, but I bought 50 of the Quartus keys and that is a pet I don't have, as well as I don't really have any signets from that, so that would be good for any of them I guess, but yeah, I'm just going to do some legions now and hopefully we can get at least a signet, but please be a pet. Alright, so I just finished off all the 50 quarters keys and I have uh, one sextus, which I guess I'll just do now. Uh, but no signets and no pets, so that is quite annoying. Uh, I mean, the signet is 1 in 64, but then some people claim it's 1 in uh, 48. So uh, that's like 1 in 48 from actual drop rates, and then they... Th I think it's... Alright, I just finished all of the 50 quarters keys and I got nothing, unfortunately, which is quite annoying. I thought I would get at least something, but I did get a sextus key in the end here, so let's just do that quickly and see if we get anything. If I don't, I'm just going to get back to you guys with something else. The Enrage of Araxor has now been reset and I'm going to do a couple of kills. I'm going to aim for 6 kills because that is my Reaper assignment. And this is the path for the last leg piece, so let's see if we can get it. And we do not, but this is pretty decent loot, so I'm just going to bank that. I think that if I do get a spider leg piece and can complete my leg, I'm going to buy a Seismic Wand and Singularity. I think that will be pretty much how much money I miss to be able to get one if I sell my Noxious Bow as well. And then I can do Telos with that instead of a Noxious Staff. I think that's better because then I can easily, more easily bring a Shield Switch without having to unequip my weapon. So let's see what we get for this one. And we get some cash. Alright, well the Saradomi Bruce is there so I'm going to bank that. Alright, sweet, that's half of the Reaper assignments completed. Let's see what this one gives us and we get some room play bodies. Oh, the overloads is not too bad, let's bank that shit. So the one that I just killed now and the two ones after that for my Reaper assignment will be really quick because I used my Burst Zerk on my Majorat Aura so we get like 50% damage increase which is crazy but let's see what I get from this one. Come on! I literally- I've got three Triskelion fragments in this video. What the hell man? Let's just reroll that. It's not even Saradom and Bruiser Overload so oh my god that's a terrible roll. Alright, so we have one more kill after this one, but let's see. Can we please not have a Triskelion fragment? Just, that's all I ask for. 
And we did not get that, but we get, oh my god, Lanta Dimes. This would have been good for my Iron Man, though, but I guess I'll just pet chance that's great. Let's see what I get. 104? Eh, I don't know. That's decent, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter anyways, because it only matters if you roll 1, I guess, or 0, whatever it is. Wait, hold on a second. I don't get kill count for my Reaper assignment when I use my Magi Berserk? Come on, man. So I still miss three kills, alright, I'll do that when the re enrage resets, honestly, but I've done six kills overall now, so I'm happy with that, let's see what I get for the last one, please don't risk it oh, that's decent, actually I should keep this, but I've never seen magic logs before, this is like rare drop table, maybe it is, but I'm just going to pet chance that, because screw it, just for the randomness of it, and yeah, as it says here, I'm just derping by the way, it's zero to win, not the one, so let's roll, and we got, that was... That was a good one, that was a good one, that was a good one. Let's, um, I th actually feel like doing some Tello, so let's see if we can do that. Well, this just kind of screwed me over. Uh, I died on Telos on 6k HP in the last phase. And I was on 63% enrage. And by the way, I honestly do not understand how people can do like 1000% enrage. I know that you got lit up, RS did that. And honestly, I bring a decent amount of Sarah Domin Bruce as well as Rock Tails, and I get completely shredded by the boss. I don't understand, and that's only on 63% enrage. It's not like I'm using bad gear or anything, I'm using like tier 90, like pretty much best in slot on everything. So honestly, I don't know, I guess it's using resonance and defensive abilities because I don't really have a shield. I would if I would have a seismic wand, and that's kind of why I want one, but... I don't know man, it's kind of weird to me, but I can't really do it, I don't know, I waste so much supplies on Telos right now, and I don't really feel like it's worth it, because their wars are so shit, so I'm just going to do something else instead. You know, there's something that really sucks, when you're doing a boss and you really want the rare drops from it, and then you look in the chat and you get some orange text, and it ends up being, congratulations, you've earned a treasure hunter key with a bonus heart of ice. Dude, seriously, come on. Anyways, I just got an elite clue scroll, and the main reason why I'm actually doing General Grador other than any other boss is because I would love the pet. Uh, it's not very likely that I'm going to get it, but any other drops in between is obviously really cool. Uh, I do have quite a decent kill count, I guess, 1,354, and that is the highest kill count of any God Wars bosses I do have on this account. So, that's why I'm trying to get this one, I guess. It's uh, the one most likely to drop because I have one of the thresholds. I don't think I have any of the thresholds on any other bosses. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm doing some general Gradro. So let's see if we can get some other cool drops, or maybe the pet. It's very slim, but maybe. I mean, a god sword shard, I'll take it. Let's see what it's worth on a main account. It's worth less than Alk value! Really? Wait. Uh, you probably can't buy many of them, though, because if you could, you could buy, like, a bunch of them and just Alk them. That'd be quite interesting. This is actually worth, like, 3k less, or actually 2.2k less than the Alk price. Interesting. You know what, let's quickly conclude this. I get three Triskelion fragment parts, I die at Telos at 6k HP in the last phase, and then I get two God Sword shards from Bandos in two trips, pretty much two trips, it's one and like three quarters. This must have been my most unlucky episode made so far. And honestly, I'm just not going to do more bundles if I do not get... Actually, I'm just going to end after this bundle strip with doing bundles, and I'm just going to end the video with an elite clue scroll. And if that elite is actually shitty, that is going to be so sad. I'm going to have to name this like the worst progress video ever. I swear, if this is a bad elite clue scroll, I'm just done. Let's see what I get. Please be something good. Alright, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one, guys. Take care.